Okay, let's uh, start by looking at the sine function and uh, to write that down, y equals the sine of, whoops, not x, it's 4x, right? Let's get the eraser out, erase that. So I can say, you know, begins at zero, pretty simple, and then it ends at, uh, let's see, 4x would equal 2 pi when x is equal to pi over 2. All right, so let's take a look and let's start writing things down. And um, kind of divide into four equal parts now, so zero. And let's take a look at this. And pi over two, right? So let's get the center of that. And zero to pi over two, that would be pi over four then. Pi over eight. And I'm gonna count by pi over eight now because it looks like it's gonna be nice to count that way. So let's put this down, so zero pi over 8, 2 pi over 8, 3 pi over 8, and 4 pi over 8. All right, get my eraser out. I think I'm pretty much ready to put the, the, the uh, sine function down. And to do that, I'm going to put the sine function down on the interval uh, between 0 and 4 pi over 8. And let me do that in a different color. I'm doing it in blue. All right, so I'm going to say the sine function would look sort of like this over here. And again, we should be getting better at drawing pictures at this point. Kind of put in a little dot. Okay, so kind of looking at it, I realize there's asymptotic behavior at certain regions where, where you know, sine takes on uh, the value of zero. And the asymptotic behavior goes, goes again, it's gonna be at zero. I'm gonna put that asymptote, I'm gonna do that in red. I'll write that down, x equals zero. The next one is at this one over here. I'll put that down for you. And that's gonna be when x equals two pi over eight. The next one, let's put that down. Relatively simple, that says four pi over eight. So x equals four pi over eight. And again, we could count this all day long, but let's just put a few more down, or two more down. What's this one gonna be over here? x equals minus two pi over eight. And this one over here is going to be x equals, well, let's take a look at it. Where are we now? We're at minus 4 pi over 8. All right, let's put down some characteristic points here. It looks like it's pretty easy to do that. And these are all going to be, um, at least the ordinates are all going to be 1 here. Whoops, sorry about that. And the ordinates over here are going to be minus 1. All right. Okay, let's put the points down now, one at a time. The first one can be pi over 8, and that's going to be 1. And you're just counting by pi over 8, so 1, 2, 3. So this is 3 pi over 8, comma, minus 1. 4, this is 5 pi over 8, comma, 1. Keep marching along, which is going to be minus pi over 8, comma, minus 1. Let's see, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 pi over 8. comma, 1, and let's keep going. What's this one over here going to be? It's going to be five minus 5 pi over 8, comma, let me get an eraser. It doesn't look right. Minus 5 pi over 8, comma, minus 1. And again, that's that point right over there. Okay, so I think we're, we're, we're done with that. There's really much else to say about that. Uh, be clear about how we get those points, though. We look at the sine function to do that because the cosecant is really the sine function. Thank you.